Hey guys, it's Turner4590, and welcome to one of my personal childhood favorites, Men in Black 2, Alien Escape. <laughs> Isn't this the hypest goddamn title screen you've ever seen? I don't have a clue what I'm getting into, but let's just roll with it. <laughs> Oh my god, there's actually a save file on this memory card. <laughs> wow, okay, so I haven't even launched this game in like well over a decade. Again, <laughs> we're just jumping right in because I feel like when it comes to this game, that'd probably be the most fun going back to it if I didn't know anything. So let's just start a brand new game. Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. What should our save file name? Well, <laughs> let's be honest. I'm a fool just for launching this game. <laughs> oh, and I hope you're ready for a lot of loading because, yeah, this is an early PS2 game. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty rampant in, in those early days. Oh, see, look, here's the second loading screen right after that, that one. Oh, boy. <laughs> what, what dark future awaits us all. Abandon all hope. You enter here. <laughs> Because this is Men in Black 2, baby. I like this Star Wars-esque opening, it really gets you pumped. Uh, apparently that's just the sun, okay. Oh god. Those guys look dangerous. Those guys look like assholes. Um... Wow, really? You'd think technology would be able to, like, you know, predict when meteors are about to fling into your ship, but okay. Oh god, right into the sun. I was joking! Aw, yeah. Time for the voice acting talents of Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. In the flesh. Gentlemen, we have a situation. We just received word from the Varaxian High Council. Chatty, aren't they? <laughs> Must be paying for their calls by the nanosecond. The Wait a minute, something's fishy here. They're fakes! Varaxian Starship. The VSS Maximus Securitas, largest prison ship ever built, containing the most notorious criminal scum in the universe. It was lost approximately 30 Earth years ago, following an accident that caused the ship's control systems to fail. The Varaxians assumed it crashed into our sun. Mm -hmm. Deep fried crispy criminal. Pray not. <coughs> Turns out the ship missed the sun completely and splashed down here on Earth. Our sub-team breached the hull, but instead of a waterlogged mass grave, they found an empty ship. Exactly. The <laughs> lights were on, but no one was home. These animations are situation unlike anything we've faced the best before. money could buy. <laughs> no number of non-registered life forms are at large, each and every one a hardened criminal. You're the best team I've got, so I'm relying on you to deal with it. It's okay. You ready to kick some alien butt? Born ready, Slick. I don't know. I can't really flex my neck as well as you, Jay. <laughs> Establishing connection. This game requires an always online connection just to play. It was pretty revolutionary for its time because it came out in like 2001. <laughs> oh boy. Topical. Okay, and title screen. Or, well, selection screen. So, uh, in Metabolic 2, uh, Alien Escape, you can do a lot of things. There's, uh, Stuff like, uh, well, if you go to classify, there's stuff like boss mode, and you can read agent data. There's even a little bit of a making of documentary you could watch. There's some training mode, but training is for pussies, so we're just gonna skip straight to the meat of the game, which is the missions. 
So uh, in any of the uh, five main stages of the game, you can choose either J or K. And being <laughs> being a strapping young boy, weird. I always thought J was the cooler one because, I mean, come on. He's definitely the cooler one compared to K in the movie as well. So I always went with J. And uh, yeah, like I said, five main missions, uh, each of which being extremely long. Uh, like, they're, they're not like levels you can beat in like 15 minutes. Like... Some of these can range from, like, up to 90 minutes, seemingly, like, at least from what I remember. So let's just get right to it, to the docks. Alien scum need weapons. Lots of weapons. Arming them all is way out of the league of a two-bit dealer like... This must James. be our first bad guy. But we've turned up a lead on someone who fits the bill. A Cerudian by the name of Grok. Grok. And a duck side and <laughs> a squeeze on him. Those pictures at the bottom. Okay, repeat. Oh, just, just in case you missed that. Jamie, it's serious business to say. He's about to go cap some guys. Oh, nice gun. Well, well, well. What have we here? Uh, it's, uh, it's not what it looks like. No, 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 don't tell me. I, just minding it for a friend, right? Uh, come on, Jay. You know how it is. Oh, I know. So, uh, what else you minding around here? Uh, would you believe, uh, toasters? All, you know what they say, all toasters, oh shit. That's not what they say, by the way. Now, I could ask you to drop your weapons and come along quietly, but, uh, y'all don't look like the quiet type. Oh god, we're right into it. Okay, so this is Men in Black 2. Holy fuck, what are my controls? Um, okay, so, apparently this game has tank controls, because... I'm moving the camera and moving Jay at the same time. Oh, Jesus Christ, the second analog stick doesn't even do anything. Okay, that's weird. Um, okay, so yeah. What what basically this entire game is, is just one never-ending horde shooter where a aliens are going to be teleporting in of various different kinds, and they're going to be going all over the place. I'm getting my ass handed to me already. Okay, so L and R are strafe, and... Oh, there is a roll. And if I remember correctly, you can make him do a sick backflip. <laughs> there we go. Oh, God. Okay, and uh, that thing on the right side of the screen, if I remember correctly, is a bomb that is basically a screen wipe. However, there's only two aliens left, so it'd be a waste here to use it right here. One thing I want to point out, by the way, is this game has an unironically killer soundtrack. It's incredible. And to this day, I still remember the music from this game, so it, it, that may be my favorite part about the game. Completely, by the way. Okay, so, uh, there's a shitload of enemies right here, so let's just pop the nuke right now. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> that worked. Oh shit, okay. These big guys are really annoying, because they can really chomp down on your health really quickly. So you gotta be very careful. It's unfortunately very awkward to turn around. Thankfully, we've got sick backflips on our side. Oh no. There we go. Okay, and we just picked up a brand new weapon. Oh, sweet, the spreader. This gun's fantastic. Just regular Contra style. You can just very easily shred through a lot of enemies. About as quickly as they can shred through you, though. So you gotta be pretty careful. There's a one right behind me, so I'm gonna see if I can flank him a little bit. Even though I <laughs> I'm very close to death right now. God, the fact that you can't control the camera. Okay, you can control it with the D-pad, but that's completely useless because you need to use the left analog stick too, so this is the best I'm going to get. No! So 
Yeah, so thankfully you respawn immediately where you died and you just take get one life taken away. It's very easy to game over in this game, by the way, so... Okay, these shield bastards, I remember being a pain in the ass. Yeah, because they have a giant beam they can fire like that. It's very, very deadly. Another thing you can do is not get killed. Another thing you can do is you can lock on to enemies. There we go. By uh, holding X, and you can do that with any weapon in the game. There we go. <laughs> by the way, I don't think you get invincibility frames when you're backflipping. I think the only thing you gain is going up in the air. So you have to actually have to dodge shots with the backflip. It's not just you get full invincibility. Because this is the fucking Dark Souls of <laughs> alien shooters. This makes Dark Souls look easy. What are you talking about? Oh god. Oh, getting flanked again. No. Son of a bitch. Nice try. Yeah! <laughs> we actually dodged that one. Sick. Okay, throughout any of the levels, you can actually find these friendly aliens, who I can't remember the name of, because it's it's been just as long since I've seen the movie as it's been I've played this game. So, uh, they, you can find the them throughout the level. I forget what they do. I thought they used to give you lives, but it seemingly they can't. These barriers are in place until you kill all the enemies, by the way. So, it, again, it's a very much a linear horde shooter where you just gotta kill every enemy you see, try not to get clubbed over the face by a giant alien. Feeling good! I really hope you like hearing that over and over again because that's all Jay is ever gonna say. Oh shit. Oh god. Nice try. Yeah, as you can see, the spreader is extremely effective, especially up close, because, yeah, all those shots are going to do damage to this guy. There we go. And we have another gun. This gun, I remember not being very good. Uh, if I remember correctly, it kind of like... I think you can, like, stun enemies. Like, it's kind of like an electric gun. Yeah. By the way, this is level one. I don't know if I don't know if you remember that, but this is level one. So like these enemies are really, really aggressive, and, and most kids have just picked up the controller for the first time at this point. So it's pretty brutal. Again, this this game demands that you play it its way, and also this guy's gonna completely fucking murder me. Darn it. <laughs> The control scheme is pretty awkward, not gonna lie. Uh, okay, I don't really like this- Oh, shit! Okay, uh, let's try and go back. There we go. There we go, sweet. Up Feeling good! <laughs> <laughs> You're down to one life, Jay, but I've always, I've always appreciated your enthusiasm. Uh, okay, uh... Shit, we gotta keep going. By the way, I, I don't know if you can notice, but these guns, uh, you can pick up, like, upgrades, essentially, to make the guns a little bit better, and that works for every, every gun in the game. So, uh, as, as long as you keep picking up power-ups, your guns get more and more powerful. Oh, never mind. I just realized that you lose the power up as soon as you get hit. That is brutal. Okay. This is gonna kill me. Oh! This camera is really poor. Okay. Uh. There we go. Feeling? <laughs> Okay, the strategy for those guys is just get right up in their face, because they don't know what to do. Oh shit! That's their strategy too! There we go. Oh shit! Backflip! <laughs> backflip, Jay! Backflip like you've never backflip before! There we go. No! There we go. Okay. Um. Oh, we get it. Breakable crates? Okay, I didn't remember that. Oh god, as if the corridors weren't already tight enough. No! Get away from me! Ow. That hurt. Shit. Shit! Oh, phew. <laughs> We're always feeling good! 
Oh god. No. No. This won't be my undoing. Oh, there's so fucking many of them. What? No. No. We actually <laughs> went for that. Oh my god. Okay. Sure. We'll go for it. Uh, okay, moving on. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit. Well, we gave it a good run. Ugh. Okay, well, it's time that I make the, uh, <laughs> admit it. Finally admit it. Uh, I have never completed the first level of this game. <laughs> as an adult and <laughs> hell no as a kid not even remotely close in fact that's probably the farthest i've ever gotten ever period thankfully one thing this game lets you do is activate cheat codes <laughs> so all you have to do is go to the title screen and enter in a very specific set of uh, button inputs like so And if you enter it correctly, the screen will do a seizure-inducing flash at you to let you know that you've gotten something like invincibility, like I just activated. Or, for instance, all weapons, full power-ups, and everything unlocked. Let's try this out. Now that's more like it. <laughs> Nice try, assholes! Oh god! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I don't think I would have made it this far if it wasn't for the invisibility. Oh god, it's time for the tanker mission! Since when did you get so nimble? I've been waking up! Well, I'm gonna work on kicking your ass! Hey man, you can't say that, this is a G-rated game. How oh, cool, the Statue of Liberty! Time for a backflip hero on her! <laughs> Metal Gear. That's a smooth looking ride you got there. Pity I'm gonna put a few scratches in your Dog, body work. Grok Scratch looks like he's dead. straight out of a Ratchet and Clank game. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Damn. It's a good thing I have invisibility, otherwise I'd be fucked right now! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> backflip of justice. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck is happening right now? Oh, okay, he's dead. See you later, asshole. I have no idea how I got to this moment, but I don't care. Okay, final boss. Man, I hate it when they crunch like that. That was surprisingly violent, but we did it. Feeling good.